I don't really do videos outside. I think, other than when I'm fishing, I'm almost never outside, now that I think of it. But, I have a patio, and more importantly, I have a grill. This grill is going to allow me to make... Okay. The first thing when I got this grill, I thought, you know what? I can grill some fish. So I bought some swordfish. Eleni wanted something too. She does not like fish. So I got her a nice New York strip. It is, um, the temperature is getting right to where I want it to be. Let's take a look real quick. Got a thermometer right here. Could get it around 400 and keep it there. Put my steak on there. I have my, my thermometer like I always do. So Eleni's is going to cook a little bit different. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put it, I have two burners, two burners, right middle. I have them on medium to get the heat up like we saw here. And then I'm going to leave this one off and I'm going to put the meat on the off side. Let's, let's open it up and take a look. These two burners go, I'm gonna put the meat here, let it uh, warm up indirectly, and then I'll keep checking temperatures and when it gets close enough, I need my fish to be 145, and I'm gonna put the meat around the same. Uh, once they get close enough to temperature, I'll put them over direct heat, give them those nice sear lines, and then that's it. So I'm gonna kind of do a reverse sear, but on, on a grill. So this is the first time I ever grilled a steak and I grilled a fish. So I'm real curious to see how it's gonna go. And hopefully it'll be tasty. It sure looks good. Um, it's coming back up, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the meat on. Getting the temperature right is a bit of a balancing act. But the key thing is just to keep it at a steady temperature. So I want it around 400 degrees. It's getting there right now. And then I'm gonna keep it there for about 10 to 12 minutes. I'm gonna check the fish, and then I'm gonna check the beef. And then once we get this temperature starting to get up into the mid 20s, I'm gonna move it further over to the fire and let it finish on the fire. It shouldn't take that long. They don't look like much right now, mostly because they're in the oven stage. I just want to, I'm just checking temperatures and make sure that the heat is getting to them. Okay, they're in the 90s now. The temperature, because I'm cooking this at a much higher temperature, right now it's just right around 400 degrees. I'm going to have to um, keep an eye on them and I'll probably, I've, they've been on for about five minutes. Five minutes, that's how many five is. <laughs> five minutes, I'm probably gonna do another five and check them again and then I'm gonna move them over. Cause they're already in the 90s, they're in a good shape. They're in a good place right now. Another 10 minutes has passed. Checking the temperature again. Oh my goodness, my hands, I need to get a new instant read thermometer. Oh, my hands burning. Because normally it would just be boom boom and it'd be ready, but I broke it. Okay, my fish has to be up to 145 degrees, and because I know what's in the ocean, I'm going to make sure this sucker is cooked. I don't know what's in the turf, but anyway, temperatures are, eh, are, are moving up the way they should. I wish they'd go a little bit faster considering how hot it is, but as long as it doesn't uh, overheat, we're in good shape. I think it's time to move them. through the fourth wall here I had this thing close to the look close to the uh, to the pit to get a good shot 
and it overheated, so now it won't it won't start because it'll start and then it'll say overheated and then it'll shut down. So I got I gotta let it sit over here and cool off. Okay, back in business. This uh, took about five minutes to cool off, but we're back in business here. I had to. Uh, they were sticking on this side. So I put down some more oil and moved them over to there. And I'm going to let them sit for another two minutes and then check the temperature. And then I'll figure out what I need to do from there. I'm just keeping my camera a good distance away. I can crop in digitally after if I really need to. But steak is done. I'm just leaving it on the top rack while my fish is uh, about done. I think it's ready to go. It smells really good. Let's see if the date came out okay. Cuts nice. A little bit north of where I wanted it to, but it's still really juicy. So I put it in the loudest place I could. Man. Okay. Oh, decent color. Seems juicy. Nice flavor on that New York strip. First time in a long time. A, I grilled it. B, I grilled it outside. So the house doesn't smell like fish. We all appreciate that, even me. I'm eating the thing, but I don't want the house to smell like it for like two days. So now I can do it outside. I'm excited. Hopefully this came out okay. It looks pretty good. Thoroughly cooked. Juicy. Nice brine to it. Came out pretty good. I'd give myself a, a B on this. But I'm done cooking. Let's eat.